St. Louis Souvenirs. Baseball in St. Louis, and a full house is anticipated in packing the brand new Bush Stadium this evening as MLB 06 The Show is here to bring you exclusive coverage of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's game two of this three game series as it'll be the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskirshen here to take you through this one. With me, as always, are former big leaguers Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And, Soup, you've been at this for a long time now. What catches your eye when we look at a matchup like this? And, well, hold that thought, I suppose, as the leadoff man heads into the box. Chris Duffy is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The pitch. Ball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, and Duffy's gone, leading off the ball game. Gets the easy ground out to open up the ball game. Always nice not have to deal with that speedy leadoff guy on base. Jack Wilson will step in, and you see where he enters play in the National League batting race. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Here it comes. And, hmm, a ball outside, apparently, one and one. Yeah, you can already tell the strike zone's going to be all over the place today. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. And it misses three and one now. This is a guy you don't need to get cute with up there. Just go right after him. One pitch is a slider and he can't pull the trigger. It's three and two now. And he takes ball four. So a good job of running the count full and then coaxing out the pass. Yeah, Matt, he made him throw a lot of pitches. That was a great at bat. Sean Casey will stand in looking to extend his modest six game hitting streak. Throw over to first. The second. First pitch coming. And that's in there for strike one. A man at third with one away. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. A few more inches in, and that's a pitch he'll turn on. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Now a slider is hit on the ground towards second. They'll throw home with it, and they've got a man caught in the rundown. Well, I know how he's feeling there. That guy should have scored from third, but this is something you just can't do. You don't want to show up your teammates. Just let it go. Jason Bain will get his first cuts here. Jason Bain. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And Wilson is in to score now. So they'll draw first blood in this one. That was a good swing, and just like that, they get off to a 1-0 lead here in the first. So first and second with one man right going, and in steps Giles. 
First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Infield at double play depth as they look for two to try to get him out of this. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Ooh, time to break out the Quest Tech machine. That looked pretty borderline. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Miles for one. Over to Pujols, and it's a double play that'll get him out of the inning. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Pittsburgh leads this one, one to nothing. Now the starting lineup for the Cardinals here. Leading things off is first-time All-Star David Eckstein. He'll play shortstop. Aaron Miles will bat second and play second. National League MVP Albert Pujols is third. He plays first base. So Taguchi is the cleanup hitter. He'll be in center. Hector Luna will bat fifth. He's at third base. Juan Encarnacion bats sixth and plays right. Larry Bigby will be in the number seven spot and play left field. Gary Bennett will be behind the plate and hit eighth. Sidney Ponson is the pitcher in this one, and he bats number nine. And they'll be opposed by the veteran right-hander Kip Wells. Wells struggled through a trying season in 2005, to put it politely. 18 losses were the most in the big leagues, but as they say, there's nowhere to go but up. And look there at the Pirate D, courtesy of the folks at Rawlings. David Eckstein will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. One of the secrets of his longevity in this game, work fast, change speeds, and throw strikes. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Hit on the ground towards first. And Casey will do this one himself for the out. Aaron Miles will take his cuts now. Second baseman. Aaron In the air to center. Duffy is there. Two gone. Albert Pujols will dig in, and you see he enters play on top of the National League and runs batted in. And a swing by Pujols, but he didn't get all of this one. Giles is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Brad Eldred leads things off now in the top half of the second. Starts him out with a slider too low for ball one. That thing's moving pretty good at the end. 1-0 on the way. And, oh, looked good on the monitor, but it's 2-0. And there's the first strike, 2-1. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Hard to get the barrel of the bat on that one. Good eye. Three and two. And Matt, if he keeps leading pitches over the middle, this early deficit is going to get even wider. Swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. Look at the stop. Throw gets him at first, and that was a magnificent play. Well, not only is this a great play just to get to the ball, but then to throw a strike to first for the out, that is pretty. Ryan Domit steps in now. Batting seven. Catcher. And here's the first pitch. Ryan Domit. And this is taken outside for ball one. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. Oh. Oh. 
And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Now a fastball for a strike, and from two and oh, it's back to two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Freddy Sanchez waits on deck. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And this is just an instance of being overmatched by a fastball. He was way late on that one. Freddy Sanchez will stand in, and he's always a danger when he gets aboard, as evidenced by his placement among the National League's best stolen base guys. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. Time to be a good two-strike hitter here. That means just concentrating on making solid contact. And this is hit well towards the hole. Throw will be well late as he reaches it first. Well, a good two out at bat right there. At the very least, this will allow the pitcher to hit now instead of having to lead off the next inning. Kip Wells digs in at the plate. Kip Wells. And a fastball just misses for ball one. And he's not afraid to run pitches inside on hitters. Fastball high, and it's quickly 2-0. Strike and it's two and one. And with Kuhl's forced to hold it first, there's a good sized gap on the right side of the infield. From the stretch. Mm, hung that one out there a bit, but it's a called strike two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. And with two out, that runner on first can get a little extra head start here. And a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball, and the inning is over. One left for Pittsburgh, but they're up one to nothing. Leading so Taguchi will start things off in the bottom of the Center second. Fielder. First pitch so coming. Taguchi. And there's a strike right down the heart of the plate, 0 and 1. Swing and a ball pulled down the line at third. Foul. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. How about another look at this swing? Kids, shield your eyes from this one. That's horrible. Hector Luna will get his first shot at it here. Now here's the first pitch. Hector Luna. In there, no balls and a strike. Well, this is what veteran pitchers do. They know the importance of getting ahead in the count. Lined up the middle. On for it is Duffy, but this is a base hit. Get a look at this from another angle. He might have been looking for the hard stuff, but he's able to stay with the off-speed pitch and gets aboard. So a runner on first with one out now. And digging in is the right fielder, Juan Encarnacion. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Runner's going. It swung out and missed the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base on a good, smart play there. Looked like a late decision to run out there because he basically had no lead, and that came back to bite him. Now the pitch. That misses one and two. Outside locator that time, but a good job to lay off. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Throw will go to the first baseman, Casey, and that will end the inning. So they pick up no runs on one base hit, no errors, and none left. Chris Duffy ready to go here as we begin the third. Chris Duffy.
changeup too low, and it's 1-0. and oh. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 oh now. Now the 2-0. Oh. And that's over, 2-1. and one. Got to bend the knees and go down and get that one. Yep. Change up, pulled a strike, and he comes back even at 2-2. Two and two. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. And that ball's going to land between them. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Well, he kicks this inning off with a bang as a leadoff double has him in business now with nobody out. Jack Wilson will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Spin and a throw back to second. strike one and one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes cold strike on the outside part of the plate 0 and 2 now a swing and a high pop on the infield and that won't get the run in Luna is there one away Well, that's a big first out in the inning there as he gets him to pop the up so the runner at third cannot advance. Sean Casey. Sean Casey will dig in. He singled his first time around. And this one runs up high, ball one. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. Well, I don't know about that one. Looked to me like we should be 1-1 one one right now. As a look, now the pitch. Now a ball lying back over second. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Well, they tried to pull the string on the changeup that time, but it looked a little like the arm action might have given them away there. Jason Bay will be the batter. Jason Bay. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. I know. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And that is down, and we'll see if they'll push it. And now this will rattle up against the fence. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. And not nearly in time as the run scores easily. Let's take another look as he takes advantage of the opportunity here and clobbers this thing, and that goes for an easy double. Brian Giles, yet another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Swing, and he pops him up in foul territory. Luna is over now, and he's got it for round number two. Yeah, he tried to hold back on the changeup, but he's already committed his swing, so all he can do is pop this up. And we're going to have a pitching change as it'll be the young right hander, Brad Thompson. Brad Thompson! Brad Eldred is at the plate as he watches ball one. Here's the 1 0. -oh. Swing and a miss, 1 and 1. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Good sinking action there. One and two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Swing hard liner to left center. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. And the runner will score from second. Well, 
They tried to pull the string of the changeup that time, but it looked a little like the arm action might have given him away there. So a runner at first with two away, and here's the young catcher Ryan Domit. First pitch on the way. On the corner at the knees, 0 and 1. Three runs already home here. And Domit can't make contact that time, so he finds himself in an 0 and 2 hole. For Eckstein, it's short. Eckstein! Oh, not in time, but boy, was that a remarkable effort just to get to that thing. will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Right there for strike one. Yeah, let that thing go. Still got a couple more strikes to play with. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. This is popped high in the air to the left side. Eckstein is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So they strike for three runs on five hits. No errors, and a couple of men left on. Larry Bigby makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. in on the hands that time, one and one. And this works in the outer half of the plate in, but it runs a bit too much. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. And that one finds the target on the outside corner, two and two. Sets the two-two pitch. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Well, and the reason he's having this early success is because he's been changing speeds effectively. You saw it right there. That's what you've got to do. Gary Bennett will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. First pitch fastball that time, but he's locked in on it as he sends it out to right for a base hit. Brad Thompson will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Squares and makes contact here. And the throw goes to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Trying to avoid the double play ball that could have been the end. When you don't have confidence in a pitcher swinging the bat, this becomes a very wise play. Comes set, now the pitch. David Eckstein is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Two out here and a runner at second. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw will go to the first baseman, Casey, and that will end the inning. So no runs on one hit, no errors, and a runner left on. Kip Wells will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And the pitch. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Game on. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Well, sometimes hitters can have problems picking up the baseball in night games. Not giving him any excuses, but it is a possibility. Chris Duffy will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. First pitch to him. Ball one. And he 
So the changeup in there, one and one. And this one's high and tight, backing him up, two and one. Runs up and gets one down here, but it might not be deep enough. Oh, not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. And boy, not really the guy you'd expect to drop one down here as he catches everybody by surprise and legs it out. So a runner at first with one man gone, and here's the shortstop, Jack Wilson. Now a move over to first. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And this is pulled in on the run. Good concentration and there are two gone. Sean Casey will stand in. Sean Casey. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. Hit hard to the left side. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. He'll come home with it and not nearly in time as the run scores easily. Well, three hits, three singles. He's been nothing if not consistent, that's for sure. Jason Banks will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Slider worked last time. Why not go to it again? 0-2. And he looked like he was playing cricket on that one. From the belt, the pitch, and a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. He's got to be careful not to overstride into a pitch on his hands like that. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Aaron Miles will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Watch as a fastball right there for strike one. And that's a sign of a veteran pitcher getting ahead early in the count. Swing and a bullet to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Well, this ball stung pretty hard, but they got him positioned well defensively. It's an easy out. Albert Pujols will try it again. He flew out his first time. On the ground towards second. Throw to first will be in time, so a good start to the inning for Wells as there are two gone. As any pitcher can tell you, anytime you can keep Pujols off base, give yourself a pat on the back. So Taguchi will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And this ball will be chopped foul. Swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Now he's going to have to make an adjustment at the plate. Maybe take a little length out of his swing. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. The left-handed hitting Brian Giles leads things off when we get back. But they hold a 5 nothing lead. Brian Giles will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. Oh. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And he reaches up to haul this one in on the run. Nice play for the first down. 
Brad Eldred will dig in again. He singled home a run his last time. And that's high for a ball, 1 0. Might have been trying to overthrow that one a bit. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. One and one. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. Miles has got it. Throw on to first in time to get Eldred, and that's the second out of the inning. Ryan Domit will step in. One for two in the ball game. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. They bring the fastball that time inside part of the plate, but he gets his hands right on top of this thing and shoots it up the middle. Freddie Sochek is next, Dave, as he swings and misses for strike one. Fastball called for strike two. Not wasting any time here. He's coming right after him. He's ready now. The pitch. And this is lined right back up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. And Matt, that's just a good swing there. We talk about it a lot. When you drive the ball right back up the middle, it means you are on it. And he certainly was there. Kip Well will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Kip Well. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. Boy, tough when you take off speed to start the at bat. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1 and 1. Ball two now. We got time. Okay, let's play ball. Here's the two and one pitch. Called yeah. strike two as he locks him up there. And Matt, don't be surprised if they go back to the changeup again with two strikes. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strike out of the game. Pirates strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Hector Luna will dig in. He singled his last time around. Hector Luna. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. And a throw by Wilson's in time for the first down. Boy, they just keep going after that first pitch. You see it here on your screen. He's hardly broken a sweat. Just 31 pitches to this point in the contest. Juan Encarnacion will stride in. Grounded out his last time. Juan Encarnacion. First pitch coming. And he takes ball one. Boy, worth that miss. Rough way to start an A-B on the mound. Just got a piece of it as this is chopped foul to the backstop. And he takes a cold strike two. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. Maybe this can get something started for him here. That's just their third hit of the game. So if they want to get into it, they better hope to string together a few more hits. Smart to keep an eye on. And another throw over. And he just manages to get his hand in. Larry Bigby is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. And this is ripped down the first baseline. Casey is there, and he'll bring this one in. Gary Bennett will step in, and they sit in his last turn. Swinging a high pop-up to the left side. 
And he's able to stay with it, but he did not make that look easy. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Chris Duffy will be the batter. Two for three with a double thus far. Chris Duffy. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. Yeah, most guys aren't looking changeup to begin in at bat. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Swing, and he gets under this one as it's hit in the air to shallow center. Taguchi comes on now, and he has it one down. Jack Wilson will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Wilson. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. And he misses again. 2-0. One out. Nobody on. And there's ball three. Boy, and this is not a guy to dilly-dally with. They need to go right after him. Here it comes, 3-0. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. I don't know what he's complaining about there. That was pretty clearly ball four, but he obviously didn't think so. So that's a good time for the catcher to go out and calm his pitcher down. Sean Casey will step in. An RBI single this last time around. Now a throw over to first. New pitcher coming on now. The left-hander Randy Flores gets the call. Number 34, Randy Flores. Fouled straight back. One out and a runner on second base. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And there's hit number four in the game for him, and he just looks really dialed in up there. Jason Bay to get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Left fielder, Jason Bay. Pause, now the pitch. And that one swung on and missed 0-1. Right on the inside part of the plate. Not much he can do with that fastball. Now a swing and a miss here as Bay falls behind. Nothing in two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Brian Giles will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a drive high in the air and deep to right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And a relay home. And not in time as the second run scores. Thought this might have a shot to get out of here, but you see where the ball hits off the wall and ricochets. And that's going to allow him to get into third with a three bagger. Brad Elbrid will get another crack. One for three thus far. Fastball in there for a cold strike. That would have been a good one to offer at there. Big swing and a miss as Elbrid falls behind here. No balls and two strikes. From the stretch. Off-speed pitch, and it's strike three calls. And I think he got a little help with that one as this side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Pirates on top, seven to nothing. Number 53. Curveball just misses, apparently, one and oh. And he's got that thing falling right through the zone here. Ball two now. 
2-0 on the way. In the air, left field. Bay has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. David Eckstein will step in now. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to first. And Casey will do this one himself for the out. Aaron Miles will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Aaron Miles. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Line to the right side, but foul. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. On to first with it is Casey, and the inning is over. And that's six shutout innings thus far, as he's been very difficult to solve. Attention, pitching change coming up now as we'll the see the veteran right-hander Jeff Nelson. Jeff Nelson. Swinging the ball pretty well hit out towards left center. And he will get there as he puts this one away on the run for the first down of the inning. Buddy Sanchez will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And this will be chopped foul back to the screen. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. And, and with a few pitches to play with, let's see if they get him to chase something here. Now a swing and a hard-hit ball back through the box. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. 15 hits for him now after that last one as they've really come out and swung the bats well. Kip Wells will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And he'll throw over to first. is a splitter for a cold strike. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Come set. Now the pitch. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. And he'll take the walk of shame back to the dugout again. This has certainly not been his day. Chris Duffy will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Chris Duffy. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Now a bunt attempt here. Oh, not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Oh, I'll tell you what. There's a code of ethics in the big leagues where you do not kick a team when they're down. When you've got a big lead and you're buttoned to get a hit, that's just weak right there. Jack Wilson will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Not like they needed any insurance runs here, but they got some anyway as they just continue to pour it on. Sean Casey will try again. He singled four times in this one. Sean Casey. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. And, oh, did he stay with that? He did, but it was ugly looking. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Albert Pujols will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Now ball hit pretty well to left field. Going back is Bay, but he can just turn and watch it sail out of here. Sixth home run on the season for him, and they're now on the board, but still well behind. 
So Chiguchi stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. There's a big swing, and he gives this one a ride high and deep to right center. And he reaches up to track this one down for the first out, and he had to go a long way to get to that ball. Takes this one the opposite way and gave it a pretty good ride, but good range that time to haul it in. Hector Luna will step in, one for two in the ball game. Out in front of a changeup as he grounds this one to short. Up with it is Wilson, and the throw to Casey's in time, two gone. Well, he had a gift pitch that time right down Broadway, but he couldn't do anything with it. Juan Encarnacion will step in, one for two in the ballgame. Juan Encarnacion. Hit hard back up the middle, and that'll get down for a base hit. Throw is high, and it's over his head. Well, they tried to pull the string of the changeup that time, but it looked a little like the arm action might have given him away there. Larry Bigby will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Larry Bigby. And that misses ball one. 1-0 one -oh pitch now. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 -oh now. Flyer, and this is hit on the ground out to short. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Jason Bay can get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Jason Bay. First pitch on the way. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. And he swings and hits this ball high in the air and deep to left center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Second double of the night, Matt, as he's just been a very tough out so far this evening. Brian Giles will dig in. He had that two-run triple his last time. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Taguchi is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Well, Matt, if he hits this ball down the line, it's probably a home run, but the center fielder is able to range back and put it away in deep center. Brad Eldred swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. This one gets away. That could be a run. And it is a run. You hate to give away runs like this. This one gets away and allows the runner to basically waltz home. In the air to center field and deep back is the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. Brad Eldred with the solo home run as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Oh, that one sounded like a cannon going off when he hit his back. I mean, he really muscled up on that one. And that, folks, is what you call a no-doubter. Pass out those earplugs. Ryan Domit will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. You can see just not getting the hands through the zone quick enough to tackle that fastball in the inside half. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. No contact there, and it's one and two. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing, and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Bigby is right there. Two gone.
Braden Looper will come on now in a mop-up role as she'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. And now... Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Matt, you can just tell he's in one of those grooves where he can do no wrong. That's hit number four for him right there. Kip Wells will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. Jose Castillo will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. The cutter runs outside, ball one. Trying to work that thing back to the outer half. Good spot. Now a hard liner towards short. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Gary Bennett will step in, one for two in the ballgame. Now time is called, and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Mike Johnston will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Mike Johnston. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Matt, when you establish an off speed pitch first, now you can go anywhere. Boy, and that is just a terrible hack. It's nothing in two. does stay alive as this is fouled back. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And the fastball, easy to lay off that time, two and two. Right back to the pitcher. And a good throw gets him, one gone. Leadoff guy in the eights retired. This one's pretty well in the bag, but you'd hope to see a little life from these guys instead of just watching them mail it in. Jim Edmonds will be the batter. Left fielder. Jim. First pitch coming. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Strike two called on the inner half, 0 and 2 now. Working quickly here. Let's see if they try to finish him off. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. And we'll see this from his eyes. Batting averages, of course, go way down when the count is 0-2. So he's trying to be aggressive here, and it doesn't pay off. David Eckstein will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. David Eckstein. It swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Giles is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Down in order go the Cardinals. They're down nine. It's ten to one. Chris Duffy to get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Chris Duffy. And a bunt attempt here to kick off the ninth. Strike one. Joe's bunt there, but he winds up taking strike two. No mysteries here. He's just rearing back and firing. Got him. And we'll see this from his eyes. Batting averages, of course, go way down when the count is 0-2. So he's trying to be aggressive here, and it doesn't pay off. Jack Wilson will get another crack, one for three thus far. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Taguchi comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. 
Sean Casey will stand in now, working on a four-hit ball game. Sean Casey. Here's a swing and just foul, says the umpire, and he was right on that one. The pitch. And a swing and a miss from Casey as he falls behind nothing and two. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Up with it is Eckstein. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time and the inning is over. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Aaron Miles will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Ronnie Paulino will come into the game now on defense. Now catching, number 56. The pitcher making his way to the mound. It'll be the right-hander Ryan Vogelsong. Number 22, Ryan Vogelsong. Now a ball hit high in the air out to center field. And he reaches up to haul this one in on the run. Nice play for the first down. Albert Pujols will dig in. A home run his last time. See him. He's not going to rub it and give that pitcher any satisfaction. So Taguchi will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. So Taguchi. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Boy, he would love a double play ball right here. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Good decision on the throw as he is meet at third base. That was a good job at third catching that throw and getting the tag down quickly to get their man. Hector Luna will get Number another eight. crack. One for three thus far. Hector Luna. From the belt, the pitch. Low for ball one. One out and missed. One and one. Two out with the man at first. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Ready with the two one. And right on it as this is chopped foul to the backstop. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. And now that runner on first can get a head start here with two out. came out rare to go tonight and this is a good road victory for these guys no doubt about it
So it's a victory for the Pirates in this one, and Dave, that brings us to our majestic play of the game. Yeah, Matt, this one came back in the very first inning. It was just a single and didn't seem like much at the time, but it got him going here and put him on an early track to victory. Well, a pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of guys deserving, but gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this man the nod as our upper deck player of the game. Well, Matt, he really led the way in this one. A four-hit game, and he was certainly one of the cogs in the machine here in this one. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score... The Pirates win it 10 to 1. This has been a presentation of MLB 06 The Show. For more, log on to MLB06.com. Good night, everybody. Yeah.